Okay guys, what is up? I am Freaktography and here we go again. Another abandoned house, another abandoned Freaktography adventure. I'm by myself today exploring solo. Ridden Riders at work. Rebex Carlos probably playing Fortnite, so it's just me all by myself. What you got here, look behind me. We've got a beautiful abandoned house with an unbelievable piano. There's a name for this kind of piano. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, comment down below. And we've got a wheelchair, we've got a TV with a bullet hole stuck in it. So we got a really cool house. We're gonna take a walk around. We're gonna see some things. So before we do anything, what do we always say? Cue my music, cue my intro, let's get it. All right, so moving, starting here in the kitchen in the most interesting uh, a cool room in the house is you've got uh, you've got this awesome piano and I wish I knew the name for this kind of piano I should have looked it up before I started filming but that's alright very nice very old very antique you've got some crutches there and you got an old person's wheelchair wheelchairs are always sad they always bum me out here you've got some linens in a uh, in a table and you've got your television here with a big bullet hole shot right through the screen there you go you got uh, a little uh, china cabinet here it looks like there's also a bullet hole in this one too hey look at that you got a bullet hole in there so there we go god bless our home add booze jesus and everything's good you got your last supper picture right here some nice paintings on the wall Old stuff, old stuff. Let's move along into what I'm guessing is something like the living room. This would have maybe been the kitchen table area where I put my camera bag. Got some tables, there's some chairs, you got some toilet paper over there. And then you've got your main living room fireplace. And check this out guys, cuckoo clock. We will get to the cuckoo clock in a little while. I'll come back to it and we're going to play with that cuckoo clock and we're going to make it cuckoo. All right? Moving through, we have another bedroom. We have a bedroom over here with uh, not much in it. You got a couple of dressers, some books, a closet, and you got a picture of a very, very pretty young lady. And uh, in a little while, I will tell you the story of this pretty young lady and how she uh, falls into Canadian history. We will get to that a little bit later. So you got to stick around, keep watching the video. And uh, you might just learn something by uh, old Mr. Freetography today. Another bedroom. You got a little very uncomfortable bed, dresser, a little bit of spray paint on the wall. Stupid kids. Let's move along into the kitchen. I think I already went down here earlier. If not, we'll go back down there again. Nice green, uh, green kitchen. Very, very nice green kitchen. There's your teapot right there. This thing here for making, I guess, you uh, the meat grinder. That's the meat grinder. Blender. Crock pot. Toaster. Food processor. All kinds of stuff. All rubber boots, too. Check out all the rubber boots on the floor. Some glasses. All right, let's go check out that basement. I think there's two basements here. So I think I went down to the first basement earlier. So come on down and see what's here. Oh, we got a bottle of booze here. We got some vodka. That's where the stash is. Hey, that's where he kept the stash. These chairs are, these, uh, these stairs are very soft. I'm not very uh, happy about these stairs right now. But yeah, this has got nothing in it. A bunch of beer bottles on the floor. Furnace over there. Yeah, no sense in going up here. Or I mean down here. Now we're now we're going up. Okay. Let's take a walk upstairs. Show you what's up there. Here you've got just a uh, common room, office space. I'm out of breath. I've got some desks, books. Somebody looks like they uh, at one point tried cleaning up. 
then they gave up on it. It's too bad. Big living area here. A lot of couches, pictures, books, more couches. There you go. Zoom in on some of these knickknacks I got on the wall here. And there you go. Turning around, not much. Somebody set up some stuff here for a photo. So now you can see some stuff. All right. We'll go into these rooms here. Just basically storage and a lot of junk and you really can't see much. I mean, I have to pull everything out and go through it all, which I'm really not interested in doing. So, but there's a lot of books. There might be some cool stuff buried around in here, but I'm just not into taking all this stuff apart. Excuse me. And then I've got some footage in that room. We'll cut to that. We'll go to there. And then I'll meet you guys back downstairs. Check out all these old Christmas ornaments in this suitcase here. Christmas lights and tree ornaments and stuff inside this really old suitcase. And then over here, there's like three more old suitcases. One of them has a really old electric blanket. There's a lot of books down here too. An old Walt Disney book with Disney's favorite stories. There's another box there with Christmas lights. A lot of cool stuff in here. All kinds of old books. But that is probably the coolest thing in this room right here, I think. Okay guys, moving along through this house. I'm always hesitant to go into basements of abandoned houses when I'm by myself. Because I always feel like I don't know what's going to happen. Something might happen while I'm down here. Not like weird paranormal shit, but like just you never know what's going to be down here. or what's, Something might fall. Or... So I'll come down here anyways and uh, see if there's anything interesting, which it doesn't really look like there is. Yeah, so that's all right. Got some paint cans. All the old man's tools. Little frog on the floor. Let's see if I can zoom in. Hold on. I've got a frog down here. There he is. See him? Little frog. There he is. Anyways, so there's your furnace. And, uh,. Oh, there's a couple frogs down here. Oh, well, holy shit, there's like five frogs down here. <laughs> watch this. Watch, watch, watch. Zoom in on this guy here. And then I'm going to start walking. Hey, little Mr. Frog. Hello, Mr. Frog. So, anyways, back at it. Um, I just found a couple of frogs and I was trying to get their attention but they didn't want to play along so anyways here's the old man's workbench with his tools and stuff not much sometimes basements have a lot of cool stuff sometimes they don't this basement here has as far as I can see no cool stuff so we'll move along and we'll go back upstairs Okay guys, so I'm going to cut to some other footage now. I'm going to show you guys some more uh, footage that I took earlier, just walking around the house. I'll tell you about the lady in the picture, tell you about the cuckoo clock, show you how it works, and then I'm going to take a walk outside, I'm going to show you some stuff outside. Okay guys, so there's a first time for everything, and this is the first time I've ever discovered a cuckoo clock in an abandoned house. So, pretty sure I can figure out how to make this work. So, I'm going to try and make this cuckoo clock go cuckoo. Three cuckoos. One cuckoo. Four cuckoos. We made the cuckoo clock work.
Okay guys, so we are outside of this abandoned house now. And there's a few outbuildings to see and check out. So we'll go take a walk around through all these bushes here and see what we can find. That might be interesting. I'm gonna guess not much, but we'll look anyways. Come on in. We just got some uh, little kitty chair here. We got a rocking chair. That's probably a record player right there. If I turn around, I can see this room here fell apart pretty good, so I'm not going in there. But this here is. Oh, it's definitely got to be a record player or something. Yeah, it's in here. It's uh, it's closed pretty tight, so I'm not going to open it. But yeah, that's a really old record player right there. Walking through cobwebs. Somebody told me once that when you're in an abandoned building and you walk through cobwebs, that means that that's the spirit telling you to get out. I don't buy it for a minute. Not one minute. Not gonna go in there either. Another building over here. This looks like a garage or something. It's empty. There's an outhouse over there. It's a nice outhouse. Alright. Got your ladder here. Is that a milk jug or something? Uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. Fuel containers. Uh, your outhouse. Oh, you got stained glass for their outhouse. That's nice. There's, your, there's the house over there. Walk back through here. So there's your exterior view of the house. Alright, there's a barn over there. So here's your look at the house. And I'm going to cut, and I'll meet you guys in the barn. Okay, guys, I'm at the barn. That's a hell of a walk. And uh, there's an old saying amongst urban explorers. And it goes something like, always check the barn. Because I guess there's always good stuff in the barn. And I'd say, this is a pretty good barn. So let's take a look. We got that right there. To me, it looks like it might be our old record player or just an old piece of furniture. Down here, old wine barrel, which is always cool. Let's swing around here. We got all kinds of furniture laying around here. Way out of breath. I got this horse thing right here. See that horse thing? Got an old. Stereo system here. And you got all kinds of uh, furniture. Couches and chairs and stuff. And then you got, this is pretty cool. You got a little globe here. I like that. There you go, you got an old globe. glass jug that can make for a pretty good staged picture right there I might just have to take that picture in a little while I'm losing my voice I don't know if you guys can still hear me oh we got some boots and we got some books a clock this thing here for buying feed to feed the animals all right 
right. Got some art from the, well, judging from the stuff inside the house, these people were also artists. So that probably some of, the, some of their original art. Check this out. Pop shop. Original old pop shop bottles. Those are cool. Uh, got some TVs over there, but they're buried behind stuff that's covered in bird crap, so I don't want to touch it. But those would be really cool to see those TVs. This is really cool. I like it in the barn. Okay, I'm going to move down and I'm going to go see what's in the barn, the downstairs of the barn. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back outside. And we've got uh, two more barns back here. We have, the, we have the lower level of the barn we were just in. And two more. So, we might be in for some cool stuff. So I'm going to start with the basement level, lower level of the barn we were just in. So, let's see if we can make our way in. Alright, no, I'm going to go this way first, since I'm right here. Over here first. Okay, barn number two has nothing. Nothing on this side anyway. It's got a tree growing in it. Got a lot of old, very valuable barn wood that lots of people would probably like for their home projects. Yeah, this is uh. This is just a, bit, a bunch of nothing in here. And this looks pretty neat, something on a, on a track, rail system. I have no idea what it is, because I don't know shit about farming. But this is a lot of really old, old machinery and old equipment back here. Okay, a little bit of overgrowth. Try not to touch anything with my skin. Uh, I'll go over there later. Let's go in here. Since we're right here. Head on into this barn. Let's see what we got in here. It's going to be a bit darker in here, so I'll put some light on. Okay. So we got, this looks like an old table saw. Really old band operated table saw. So this is clearly where the old man did some of his work. Check out this old issue of Chatelaine. What year is this? November 1974, Chatelaine magazine. An old tractor here, Mass Massey Harris tractor, and then just a bunch of wood and random stuff. Let's see if I can get through here. Yeah. Uh -oh. I've got a vulture over there. He's not happy about me being here, I bet. See that? Vulture. Oh, hey guys, what is up? So, thanks for joining me on another adventure. This has been a really cool abandoned house. I hope you guys have liked it. Obviously, uh, highlights of the room with the piano, wheelchair, some of the knickknacks around the place. Pretty nice place. Uh, hope you guys have liked it. Drop your comments down below. Anything you guys like about this video, anything you guys want to see me do more, want to see me do anything less of, drop some comments down below and let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to get notified when I post new videos. I post usually two videos every week. And uh, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, check out my website, freetography.com. And as always, follow Urbex Carlo, Carlo Pelotza, and follow Urbex Jamie, Ridden Rider, Free Fly Mafia. Thanks for joining. See you guys next time.